Hey everyone, it's Goomba here. I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to discuss BurgerSwap and the new Binance Smart Chain. So without further ado, let's go. Binance Smart Chain uh, was launched on the 1st of September 2020. It was announced back in April, I believe. And what it brings to the table as a parallel blockchain to the normal Binance chains is smart contracts and a new staking mechanism for BNB tokens. Um, it's also Ethereum compatible from what I understand. My research hasn't been uh, very much in depth, but I believe it's very easy to, to carry over projects from the Ethereum blockchain to the uh, Binance smart chain. The main advantages here is that it's very cheap and very fast. Um, so that's the kind of qualities that could really help with any uh, DeFi project. So it's likely that we see quite a few new DeFi projects uh, or existing ones moving over to BSC in the coming weeks. On the 10th September this year, Burger King announced the launch of the BurgerSwap, a new AMM on Binance Smart Chain. And when you hear AMM, you think Uniswap. And lo and behold, it's referenced in the text very early on, with the main issue being, as we all know, the gas fees, which have been skyrocketing lately. Sushi is also Sushi Swap is also referenced. Uh, it stole a lot of the liquidity from Uniswap, uh, claiming to be able to reward liquidity providers fairly and equally. Uh, but the Burger King is saying this is not really the case, and it's mainly big players getting the money. So Burger Swap is going to change that, and you can make, you can create um, new burgers by providing liquidity and voting to change the parameters so that the parameters of the rewards remain fair to all users. Um, so you get mining reward on burger, you also get reward for voting and proposing new, um, new parameters. There's also a vote for the listing and the delisting, that's kind of a protection against potential uh, rug pulls or you know scams being uh, being listed every other day like it's happened on Uniswap lately and the main point to take into account is that there's no LP token so the liquidity being sucked out like sushi swap did to Uniswap is very low um, or very unlikely a little snippet here of the interface uh, we're going to take a take a look at that in a second and again to summarize the main advantages of burger on BSC is the speed and trading fees the adoption as the BNB ecosystem has been around for a fair while now and we can trust uh, CZ from Binance to push it forward and the ease of use as mentioned earlier you can easily port Ethereum application onto the BSC chain. One risk I want to highlight is the fact there is no maximum supply for the burger token. Time to head out to the uh, BurgerSwap website, make sure you get the URL right. Um, and the beauty of this interface that you will recognize if you use SushiSwap or Uniswap or any other SakeSwap, for example, or any other uh, AMM before, is that it can use MetaMask. Uh, but to do so, you need to enter the BSC parameters that you can find on the Medium. I'll put the link in the comments below. Um, and what you need to do is take that information here, the network name, the RPC URL, chain ID symbol and block explorer and enter it uh, in these. So I've actually copied and pasted that from a little notepad because otherwise anytime you click away from that window in the browser it just shuts down. So let me enter all the relevant information, symbol BNB and the block explorer as well even though it's optional, I'll put that in there. There we go, click save, and we have now MetaMask connected to the BSC uh, blockchain. So the next bit is to go and find that little uh, wallet. And to do so, we just open the MetaMask option. And once you're connected, you check that you're connected to BSC. Uh, but even if you just connect it to your Ethereum wallet, I think it works all the same. But let's be safe, click on account details, and here you can see where to send the BNB. Now the thing to know, uh, as you go into Binance to export the BNB, make sure, make sure, make sure you select BEP20. That's the smart chain version of the token. 
um, and just send it through and it will land right here on MetaMask. All right, so I've made a little tryout. Uh, that's why my balance is only two BNB now. Um, right, so I'm gonna go for a burger uh, liquidity. So I've talked, chosen burger as my token. I have two BNB, I'm gonna swap one for burger because you need to have uh, a bit of BNB and a bit of the other token to provide little liquidity. So I'll go ahead and confirm the swap, my one BNB for 19 odd burgers. Metamask comes up with confirmation screen, so you can just go ahead and confirm. There's no dollar equivalent because I don't think the BSC uh, implementation is complete. But anyway, you should see now that the balance is going to change to 1 BNB and 19 burgers. There you go. So that's done. So the next bit is to go and create uh, liquidity in the pool. So add liquidity, I'm going to put my uh, so I'm going to choose a burger first. I'm going to choose all my burgers. So I click max burger. You can see it's below my balance for BNB. So we're good. I need to approve the spend on the burger. So four cents. That's not bad. If you've played with Uniswap, you'll know that four cents is, uh, <laughs> hasn't been seen in a long time. So. I'm waiting for that to be approved and then I can just commit to the liquidity as well. There you go. So the button has changed to supply and now I can just go and supply the liquidity into the pool. Confirm again. Uh, once you're super liquidity, you will get burger. That's what we're here for. So let's go with it. Another MetaMask confirmation. You can see all this is pretty quick, really. If you've been using uh, Uniswap, SushiSwap, SakeSwap, uh, Yam, and all the other food tokens on Ethereum, this is fast and cheap. There you go, I've now provided liquidity. Uh, I can see the burger tokens which are earned here. And whenever you have enough of it, you just go ahead and collect. The last thing to know with uh, this platform is that governance uh, is at the forefront in theory. Anyone's able to uh, propose new votes and ideas. To be able to vote, you need to stake your burgers. All right, so right now I really don't have much. But if you have any, you would come here, stake it, and then you can go ahead and vote. If you vote, you once the vote goes through, you get some burgers which you can redeem or um, you know sell or whatever. Uh, but voting gets you a reward. Creating new votes gets you a reward. So let's see, this vote is to reduce the um, burger supply or the block reward from 10 to 5. A uh, little detail, you can see the moon boys are out in force. And it looks like the majority on this one are against it. So that wouldn't go ahead. Right, so block reward will remain 10 uh, unless someone else comes with a different proposal to change that. So it's very much community oriented in terms of uh, reward parameters. There's a version Chinese here and you can see how many have been proposed. It's fairly active, but I suspect they'll aim to do the same, reduce supply. Anyway, that's another debate. Uh, that's how you can farm burgers and once you're done with it, and you want to remove your liquidity, you just come back to that screen, remove your liquidity, and then swap everything back to BNB, and you're out. So that's it. You now know how to farm burgers. I hope that was helpful. I've been Goomba, and I'll see you next time. Peace.